Welcome back. We're seeing the snowfall. Some of us a little bit more than others. Northern parts of the state are still seeing a little bit of sunshine. So you're thinking, geez, what's going on here? The storm hasn't even arrived. Well, the storm is moving in. We're getting this band of snow. This is really associated with that first storm that was over the Great Lakes, and I'll show you that in a minute. And we have some enhancement along the coast here uh, from something that we call a coastal front. It's really just a wind switch line. Uh, temperatures, are, as you know, outside are very cold in the teens, but you head a few miles offshore, it's in the 20s and 30s. That, that difference in temperature and wind is causing our snow enhancement here. Notice not much has been going on across southern portions of uh, New Hampshire. We're starting to get some snow in now, and really nothing is going on here north of the mountains. It will, though, so don't worry if the this, this snow isn't falling where you are. It certainly will, but there are some areas seeing moderate snow now from Lewiston back through Augusta and the Midcoast. This band of snow could drop a quick one to two inches, so it'll certainly make things slippery. And we continue to see the snow here along the coast as well. So uh, things will continue to go downhill as the day goes on. Winter storm warnings now start at noon for the entire region. And then as of 2 o'clock here for coastal York County and back through coastal Rockingham County in New Hampshire, it turns to a blizzard warning. Elsewhere in the orange shade, our blizzard warning starts at 6 o'clock and then runs right through 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Coastal flood warning in effect for the Saturday morning high tide. A significant, which means major coastal flooding, is forecast from Portland south. There's a storm surge and a high astronomical tide to concern ourselves with, so that's what we're talking about with this storm. Snowfall amounts already have been about six inches here in Portland. We're starting to see reports a lot of around two to four inches. I think most folks will generally see three to six inches by the time the sun goes down tonight. May see a little bit more here at the coast. It's 15 in Portland, nine Lewiston, six in Augusta. Of course, the winds are already picking up here out of the north northeast. The cold air is funneling down from Canada, and that's providing a very dry snow. Look at these wind speeds already well in advance of our storm. Let's take a peek here at our impacts from the storm. Overnight tonight, the worst of it comes in here. At that point, one to three inches of snow per hour. Snow drifts are going to be in feet because the snow is just going to blow all over the place. It's going to be very hard to measure. Wind gusts over 50 potentially close to 60 miles per hour here at the coast. So there could certainly be some scattered power outages, especially closer to the coast. All right, here's the two storms here. Now, remember I said that uh, snow this morning extends from the northern storm. Look at that, all the way through Maine and New Hampshire. Here's the player. This is the big guy forming here. This is going to be our nor'easter. This is going to really explode. Pressures are falling very rapidly now, about three millibars per hour. This is going to be our nor'easter. It's developing right on schedule. Everything is going as we uh, thought it would be. The heaviest snow will come in after dark tonight. You see the uh, snow here really winding up as our storm continues to develop. It's slow to move out of here tomorrow, too, so we continue to see heavy snow right up at least through lunchtime with some lighter snows, although still some accumulating snow after that. Now, as far as the snowfall amounts, this has changed just slightly from yesterday. I've moved the heavier snowfall amount through the city of Portland now, 20 to 26 inches. There may even be some isolated spots slightly higher than that. It does fall off quite significantly away from the coast, but this is still a healthy amount of snow in the mountains, 10 to 16 inches. Drifts will be uh, very high, three to six foot drifts, uh, perhaps even higher than that, with winds 50, 60 miles per hour possible. There we go as we go through time. Inland winds will not be quite as strong, but still expect winds to uh, 40 miles per hour. And notice as we fast forward through tomorrow, it snows right through the afternoon, but I think, again, the heaviest will uh, taper off after that. So the winds will pick up out of the northeast. Look at these sustained winds overnight tonight, 25 to 35, gusts to 40 and 50. Uh, it's cold, too. Wind chills throughout this whole event will be about 10 to 20 below zero. So there's the seven-day forecast. We really have to wait until Sunday before we see any sun. Time to dig out from the big storm. Certainly is going to be a lot of uh, folks busy doing that. Our next storm, Kim, we haven't even talked about that, but that'll be a wintry mix with snow, sleet, and freezing rain on Monday. But you know what? We really have to get through this first storm before we concern Move ourselves on, yes. with that one. Exactly. And, and that's not a big storm Monday, mm -hmm. by the way. But uh, keep you know, up to date on the forecast because we continue to watch these snow bands. It'll really get uh, intense with the storm with heavy snow and wind uh, tonight. Hopefully everybody will be home and safe it, at that yeah, point. That's, you just stay inside for the storm. All right. Sounds good. Thanks.